Today I'm going to show you how to create and work with character interactions in Articulate QuizMaker. If you go into the folder of the free download that I put up there, you can play with the source files. Um, just go ahead and double click um, the source file for QuizMaker and the project will open. QuizMaker is a pretty powerful tool for uh, building scenarios. Um, again, unlike PowerPoint, uh, the hyperlinks don't break when you copy uh, when you copy different scenarios. Um, let's go ahead and just open the scenario and take a quick look at it. Um, when you double click onto it, it's going to take you into the the form view, and uh, you really want to go into the slide view to be making edits or setting up a scenario um, that takes you to a free form format where you can actually be doing a lot more graphical stuff and you know a lot of people don't think of uh, quizzes uh, as looking like this but you can really do some powerful things um, within QuizMaker. So you know, all I've done is um, with these different objects I then make the uh, link buttons cover those objects and uh, it's actually you can you can still leave the randomization on of, of answers where it shuffles them um, as long as you make sure that the boxes are the same size it'll just shuffle the different answers through there um, so I have uh, the the background image um, uh, put in there in the in the slide master and then the characters are in there as uh, individual files um, let's do a quick preview um, of the uh, of the output. Okay, so here we go, and you'll see as I mouse over, it highlights the text box. Um, and if I select this and cl click submit, I get feedback based on that answer. So again, you're getting um, custom feedback in the challenge choice consequence model here, um, and then I have it set so that you can retry. Um, because this is really a learning exper experience. Um, there's the right answer, correct, and that would then allow you to advance. All right, let's close out of that. The power in QuizMaker is really uh, being able to uh, duplicate questions and string them together to create a course. So if I just go to this first question, um, let's say that's the question that I want, I can just go duplicate question, and now I can go ahead and uh, edit it. So again, I'd want to go, I like to go back to the slide view. Um, let's just put some random things in here. It's just editing this text box. I'll just use letters this time. So CCC. Um, let's go AAA. BBBB. And, uh, you know, I don't really need to do this, but I just wanted to show you guys. And I can... Uh, Go back to the form view, and this is where you'll change the feedback. So you'll want to um, you can you can change what the correct answer is here. So let's say we want A to be the correct answer. I can also do that in slide view. So if I go back and then I say A is the correct one, you'll see I go back to form view. It's now switched to A, and now I could just change that to say nice work and let's save and close that and I could duplicate this one again let's do control D to duplicate I've got this new one and let's go to the slide view and let's use numbers here so 2222 11111 make that the right one go back to form view you'll see it followed through and now I want to edit this And let's just say that we put correct in there as the feedback. You can get more creative. But save and close. Now let's do a, a preview of this whole thing. So you'll see, get it wrong, wrong feedback. Here we go, get it right. Again, you remember A was the right answer. You see the shuffling happened. What happens if I select B, incorrect, select A? See that the linking all works, and that's great. Now it takes us to the next one. And I think we had two as the right one, so if I cl clicked one, oh, no, actually I made one the right one. Uh, oh, no, I made two the right one. There we go. There we go, correct. Okay, so we saw all that custom feedback come through. One more thing really quickly, if you wanted to change the character uh, or character expression, you could just go change picture. And I provided these for you as well, so let's do Lisa Angry. You size her up. Drop her in. And you're good to go. Hope you find that useful. Uh, QuizMaker is a pretty powerful tool for building out scenarios.